Happy day, not so happy of a day if you live in Nevada and you're a rancher or a supporter of the rancher with regard to the turtles being saved and you can't have your cattle there anymore and too bad for you, you've been there for a couple of hundred years but get over it. You know what, <laughs> I kind of understand in a way because you haven't been paying rent, rancher and it's not your land, I mean it's owned by the government but, but on the other side of the coin, turtles, I mean what are you doing if you're going to take the land away from a tenant? Have a better reason than talking about dumb turtles <laughs> or something like that. In Canada, we have what is called a victim's right bill. It's being criticized for not protecting the rights of victims. Isn't that interesting? Because they, of course, don't have a citizen's right bill. You're not allowed to protect yourself, but hey, once you've been raped, give us a call. And we got this bill and we're going to support you. Let's have a love fest now and kind of all get over what happened. Because now we're going to have meetings all of the time. Isn't this great? Kind of like AA meetings. We get to sit around and talk about our being victimized. I was raped by this guy. Who are you raped by? And you know what? <laughs> that's not very good. But that's their claim to fame, the conservative government. We have a victim's right bill. <laughs> come on. Tell us. Oh, by the way, if you're killed, we'll come and measure the body or give you a good funeral. Oh boy, look after the citizenry in the meantime. Restore the rights that some commie guy took away from them. Can you imagine having to beg for the right to defend your life in a civilized world like we're in today, particularly with stats that show with guns and everything else when good guys have them? Crimes reduced, more guns equal less crime. Oh, and you got all these guys still running around among us in California. There was a dog started barking next door. And the neighbor looked out and there was a stranger, somebody he had never seen before, carrying a television set out of the house. He didn't think much of it. He thought maybe he was a repairman. The stranger went away. An hour later, he came back, started carrying out more stuff. This time he had a helper with him. I guess he thought it was easy. Turned out, of course, he was a burglar. So the neighbor went over with a firearm and shot in the air and scared him off, phoned the police. Police came, arrested him. <laughs> and they said, unlawful discharge of a firearm. That's in California. And a lot of those people, I think, originate from Canada because there's a, this uh, consumer protecting thing, you know, or whatever it is. There's a whole bunch of different uh, pieces of verbiage to describe the left-wing brain. I mean, stop it. We should all just start to think on the right side, don't you know? Okay, Ron Cannon, he's a member of part of it out of Kelowna, Lake Country, uh, British Columbia, Canada. And recently there's been some talk about him. In the house, I guess there was one guy made a motion like a gun or something and another fella says that Ron threatened him and said, let's go outside. What Ron actually said is let's go outside and say that because then you're liable by law. And Ron and I have actually talked to this. He's a very nice man, he's my good friend. And, and we, we've spoken of it as said and, and in the house, you're protected, you have immunity, you can say anything you like and oftentimes the press will actually pick that up and write it as if it's fact when in fact it is not because you have this protection, this immunity, it's not correct, it's not right. I mean, you should, of all places in the land, <laughs> you'd think the house of part of it would be the place that you have to tell the truth, right? And, and, but these guys have total immunity. And what Ron meant was, let's go outside where you have to tell the truth or there's a consequence. I wish he would have gone outside and smacked him because <laughs> some of those NDP call me guys need to be smacked every now and again just to kind of make sure they're with the program. But in any event, I'm sure that wasn't Ron's intention. All right, uh, we have <laughs> an abortion, but politicians, primarily in the U.S. because I've watched a debate on this recently, and this is about a, an abortion bill. The congressional aide asked the politician, this, this joke or story kind of shows that they're maybe not with the program. They don't read a whole bunch of stuff. Obamacare, does that come to mind, etc. Back to this. A congressional aide asked the politician, what are we going to do about the new abortion bill? The politicians replied, geez, just pay it. Hey, that's how much they know what's going on in the world. Y'all come back here tomorrow. We're going to move for you from the right. See ya.